As we head into the Super Bowl weekend, it's the perfect opportunity to take a minute and think about Northeast Ohio's own great football history. It is rich. The NFL was not only founded in Canton, but Akron is home to the very first NFL champions. They were called the Akron Pros. Our Mike Polk Jr. had the chance to get a pretty fascinating football history lesson from archivist John Kendall at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Here's just a taste of what Mike learned. Talk about a hot little club called the Akron Pros. They're officially the first uh, champions of the NFL, right? Right, right. Back then, it was known as the American Professional Football Association. Two years later, they would change their name to the National Football League. Yeah, that Akron Pros team, they were the first NFL champions. I don't understand how this isn't a bigger deal. That right. we, that the Especially for Akron. I would be screaming this from the mountaintops of Akron. We are the home of the very first NFL champions. Right. What else can you tell me about um, the team, the actual 1920 team that won? At the end of the day, they had a thousand winning percentage. Uh, they also had a Hall of Fame. He was a quarterback, but really the quarterback back then ran the football. And that was Fritz Pollard. And Fritz Pollard was uh, one of the first African-Americans to play in the league. And he also uh, coached the team. He was co-coach in 1921 for the Akron Pro. So ultimately, in 1921. Yes, Come on, the story keeps getting more amazing. Now you've got this angle? Come on. <laughs> we, we've got to let people know about this, about the Akron Pros. Years before, that, I'm just, that, that is incredible. And that's 25 years before an African-American played in Major League Baseball. Right. And here football in 1921 had a star player and co-coach that led them to a championship right in our backyard. That's just fascinating stuff. We you, have such great history here in Northeast <laughs> Ohio, really and there's so much that we don't even know. You can watch Mike's full interview, and I recommend that you do. There's some fascinating tidbits in there. It's on our website, WKYC.com.